In this video, we are going to learn about state reduction and state assignment, which is a part of design of sequential circuits. Basically, the state reduction helps in reducing the number of flip-flops. The number of flip-flops required will be depending upon the number of bits in each state. So, when the number of states are reduced, the, there is a chance of reducing the number of bits that can be used to represent each state. Hence, the number of flip-flops will be reduced. Here we are going to consider that like two states when we say they are similar then we can reduce one state that is one state will be eliminated and one state will be retained. So how can we say that two states are equivalent that is nothing but for each member of the set of inputs they give exactly the same output and send the circuit either to the same state or to an equivalent state. The meaning we can say that two states are similar when both or that particular states gives the same next state and same output for all combinations of external inputs. In such a case one state will be retained and all other similar states will be eliminated. Let us consider an example here. The state table will be given to you which is supposed to be reduced. Now there is a verification process whether we have uh, done the state reduction correctly or not. That is nothing but using an input and output sequence here. Let us consider this example here. State, initial state we are considering as A and some random input sequence we will consider. And now this table we have to complete before reduction and after reduction also. In such a case this last state the final state what we get here and the output sequence what we get should be same in both the cases that is before reduction and after reduction. In such a case we can say that the state reduction what we have done is correct. Otherwise we can uh, understand that there is some mistake in the process what we have followed. So let us complete this table now. Now A state, initial state is given as A, input is 0, A on 0, is A, input is 0, is A, next state is A and output is 0. So we will write next state here and output here like this. Similarly A on 1 is B and output is 0, B on 0 is uh, next state is C, output is 0. C on 1 is D and 0, D on 0 is E and 0, E on 1 is F and 1, F on 1 is F and 1, F on 0 is G and 0, G on 1 is F and 1, F on 0 is G and 0, G on 0 is A and 0, A and 0. Now this is a table what we obtain before reduction. Now let us do the reduction process. Now observe this state reduction table. We are supposed to identify two or more similar states. In this state table we can observe that E and G are similar. You can observe that it is having the same next state and same output for all combinations of input that is x is equal to 0 and x equal to 1. So in this case we are eliminating G. And wherever we are having the next state as G, we replace with E. So eliminating G and replacing G with E. Now again we will observe if there are any other states similar. Now you can observe that D and F are similar. And so F is eliminated and F is replaced with D. So here we are having F replaced with D and F replaced with D. Now we have to observe again if there are any similar states. It can be observed that there are no similar states further. One thing you have to observe here is we are having same next state for e, C and E that is AD, AD. But in the case of uh, C outputs are 0, 0 but in the case of E it is 0, 1. So we cannot consider them as similar states. So further it cannot be reduced and it can be observed that 7 states are reduced into 5 states. So the reduced state table is like this. Now as we have done previously the table should be completed after reduction now. 
so after reduction let us complete this one a on 0 is a and 0 a on 1 is b and 0 b on 0 is c and 0 c on 1 d and 0 d on 0 is e and 0 e on 1 is d and 1 d on 1 is d and 1 d on 0 is e and 0 e on 1 is d and 1 d on 0 is e and 0 and finally a and 0 you can observe that the final state is a here and output sequence is similar to the previous output sequence itself which we have uh, obtained before reduction actually then comes state assignment if you observe the state table here the states are represented using alphabets we cannot proceed further when the states are represented as alphabet so we are supposed to assign some binary representation to it as such there are no conditions that what values we are supposed to assign that is like binary values we have to assign to the states but it is always better to go for minimum number of bits that can be used actually so when we are having five states we'll be have definitely will be requiring three bits because 2 power 3 is greater than or equal to 5 greater, which could be implied as 3 bits is required to represent each state actually. But using 3 bits we will be having 8 combinations possible. So out of these 8 combinations any 5 can be used to represent the states. So there again like out of these 8 combinations there is no rule that these 5 combinations only should be used or in a sequence it should be used or in ascending order or descending order. There are no constraints at all. Any values or any combinations, any 5 combinations out of these 8 combinations which are possible can be assigned for A, B, C, D, E 5 states. So here I am assigning A as 0, B as 1, C as 2, D as 3, E as 4. So when we assign the, uh, these particular binary values to the particular states and uh, the previous state diagram if we are replacing the alphabets with the given binary values then we will get this state table that is after state assignment. Thank you.